You are not what you do. You're who do you decide to be. Most, most of us tend to really uh, identify ourselves with the job or the role that we have. Whenever somebody meets you, or you, you say, so what do you do? And that is kind of our way to relate to somebody else as to what we do. But then we begin to identify ourselves as what we do. So that if something happens, you get laid off or some tragedy happens and the business closes or whatever, all of a sudden you don't know who you are because you related what you do to who you are. And that actually has nothing to do with who you are. How did you get the role that you have now? Was it a series of little decisions? I'm always fascinated to how someone came to do the job that they do. Why didn't I end up being the garbage man? I don't know. Why didn't I end up selling used cars? Why didn't I end up being a doctor? Well, none of those were things that I wanted to do. But then, you know, when I think about how I got into the career that I got into, it was small choices along the way that I made that I felt were the best for me at the time. But I've also changed professions over the years. So who I was then wasn't necessarily related to what I did, right? It was those decisions that I made. It was the things that impacted me that created that opportunity for me. And then what did I do with that opportunity? I made a conscious choice to do something different. So remember, you're not who what you do. You're, you're who you decide to be. But you have to make a decision. Because in lieu of a decision, some it's the, the universe is going to make it for you. Uh, or your decisions are going to make it for you. And then you're going to turn around and go, how did I get here? Don't be asking yourself that, how did I get here? We all at some point probably will. But remember, don't tie who you are to what you do. Make a conscious decision of who do you want to be and now take the steps and make the effort to become who you want to be. It's all in your control. Have a great day. One last thing on that before I say good day. How much do you let others influence who you are? It could be that, you know, in, as parents, we point our children in a direction that we think is going to be best for them. Um, maybe uh, it's an aptitude of sports or an aptitude of uh, higher learning or something like that, but it's in our, it, we, we have our child's best interest in mind and we try to give them that direction well who's had that influence over you over time who we give influence who we give influence to or allow our allow us to influence us can ultimately determine who you think you are and really the decision is not theirs it's actually yours so again decide who you want to be Decide what actions you need to take to get there and go get them. You got this.